So today I'm going to show you the Creality Unicorn hot end. Uh, I currently have it installed in my Creality V3 SE printer. Um, here's the original one, but pretty much the original one started clogging. Uh, it's having issues with it. Uh, filament was oozing out the, the ends here. So then I end up just going with the upgraded Unicorn hot end which was only $30. I ordered it on Amazon and uh, I'll have the link in the description for you to purchase the Unicorn Hot End if you want to try it yourself. But I figured it was time to upgrade and if you were to buy the same one that came with the printer, you're, it's already $15. So for another $15, you get a upgraded one. It came with our Creality K1C printer and we've really liked it so then we decided to get the same one for our SE printer here so it's since it's already installed we're kind of go we're kind of go, gonna go in reverse here um, so I'm gonna take it back off because I wanted to check some of the screws on the hot end since I found that it some people did have issues with it coming apart during printing over time so we're gonna take it back out and inspect it so the first thing you're gonna have to do um, is take out the three screws that hold this cover on. And then we're just gonna use the Allens that come with the printer and a cutter. So after you get the three screws off, the fan is still gonna be attached. So just be careful and don't yank it out of the printer. So I'm just gonna rest it on the print bed here. And then after that, I already removed the glue on mine, but then you could take the cutter here and there'll be just blobs of glue on each of the connectors, connectors to keep them in place. So then I just go in there and pick them off. But once you get that, you're gonna have to remove the extruder motor and the fan down here. Actually, you don't have to remove the fan yet, but the motor has to come out. So then there'll be a wire here that connects the motor to the board and just be careful with pulling from the wire. So I try to just disconnect it from the connector itself. Just like so. And then there'll be four screws on the side here that hold the extruder in place. You can also disconnect the touch sensor if your printer came with that. All right, so after that, go ahead and lift the extruder motor straight up. Make sure it clears all the wires to the left. And there you go. So now you have full access to the hot end here and the only thing that holds the hot end in are these two allen screws here and then the wire connectors. So there will be three of them. I'll go ahead and disconnect the wire connectors first. There's going to be one for the fan, one for the heating element, and then the last one for the temperature sensor. And it's going to be the same Allen wrench that you use for the other screws and bolts. So when you get your hot end here, you're going to it's going to come with some a Teflon tube. One will be for the SE and one will be for the KE. So just make sure that you're using the right Teflon tube here. The SE one's gonna be 22 milli millimeters long and it's labeled on the bag. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna inspect the two screws under here. So I'm just gonna peel off this silicone sleeve. And so what the issue was that the, in the past they used a short Allen screw and what happens is that these back out. So we're going to check to make sure that we have the 
the new one with the longer screws. So even though we have the blue Loctite on this, this is going to be the older one. This is only 10 millimeters long and it doesn't thread in enough. So we're going to want to get a 12 millimeter long M tube Allen or a socket head for this. So we'll go and order that up and change it out. The other thing I noticed about this printer, or at least the setup was that if you tighten the fan too much, it won't actually rotate freely. So then I would recommend putting some Loctite on these and just tightening them down until it's snug. All right, now that we have the new bolts in there, we'll just go and reverse everything. So make sure that you put the silicone sleeve back on. And if it matters, you want the Creality print here on the front side where the fan is and the back side will have this hump. So make sure that your fan wire, your cooling fan is ran right here and then we'll go ahead and mount this hot end back in. So after I mount the hot end, I want to make sure that all the wires are free and not smashed by anything. So I'll just give everything a little wiggle. And if they are good, I'll go ahead and plug them in. All right. And then you're going to want to make sure that this Teflon tube was pushed all the way down and you're going to feed it into this hole on the extruder motor. Once you get the extruder into place, you go ahead and put the four bolts back on. When you get the first one in, make sure you don't tighten all the way so you can still move the extruder around so you can line up the other three holes. And once you get all the bolts in, you can start tightening them up. Once you get that on, go ahead and plug in the connectors. And after that, we're almost done. Just the cover needs to go back on. And there you go. So one thing I wanted to mention was that if you ever have your Z offset set up for the old hot end, once you get this new one in, you're gonna have to readjust this. So we were originally at 1.68 and now we're at 1.41. Um, so just make sure that you keep an eye on your nozzle when you're setting up the new uh, hot end or doing your first print to make sure that it doesn't hit the print bed here. So yeah, we went from 
1.8 to 1.41. And while I was at it, I did some other maintenance to the printer. Um, I found that a lot of these bolts that uh, are part of the frame got loose over time. So I just went through everything, retightened it, and I was having problems with uh, the print losing uh, layers mid print. And I realized that the screw over here, or at least the bolts that hold this uh, Z axis screw, got loose. So my carrier here started to wobble. Um, so I retightened everything, and now it's it's good again. So just make sure you go through everything, retighten it, and adjust your belt tension if you need to. Uh, this was also pretty loose, so I had to add some more tension on that over here with this bolt.